New information today on the skull found Friday in Wauwatosa. The medical examiner confirms that the skull is human. The ME's office says that the remains have been there for decades. Brandon Rook joins us now with more on this story. Stephen Shannon, the skull is being sent to the University of North Texas, where experts will take a look at it. The other bone fragments were determined not to be human. Now, if you take a look at our mass cam, here is where the bones were found. Curious, yes, especially if it's more recent. Then I'm curious. Fred Ranke walks past the location where the human skull and bone fragments were found almost every day. He tells me he has lots of questions about the shocking discovery. I haven't got a clue, I'm wondering how long it's been there and, and um, what they'll find out you know, when they get it evaluated. Wauwatosa police say the bones were found Friday by construction workers who were working on this property. The skull was intact, but it was missing the, the mandal here. After looking over the bones this morning, Milwaukee County forensic investigator Michael Simley says the skull is being sent to the University of North Texas. Experts will do an assessment. It's a great resource to have. Because they'll get lots of results. And to see if it's like ancient versus something that might be more recent. It's hard to determine uh, with a, you know, we have a skeleton in, in the ground if it's been there for, you know, Couple years, decades, multiple decades. They'll also help determine race and gender with DNA sampling. Yeah, that's their specialty, and that's why we're sending it to them because they're the they're the foremost leaders in that field to determine those. So now it's pretty much a waiting game, and Ranky can't wait to find out. I'll be uh, waiting to see what, what the results are. Simley says it could take anywhere between two to six months before they get the results back from the University of North Texas. Live in Wauwatosa, I'm Brandon Rook with today's TMJ4. All right, Brandon, thank you.